guys, Myrick Khan here, and welcome back to my HTML5 coding tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at a table tag that allows you to create a sort of chart or grid-like thing, and I am going to use it in a fairly interesting way, and basically we will be finding out how to use the combination of this table and hyperlinks to allow easier navigation of your website. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put it right underneath this break here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and create a new tag called table. And I'm going to align... I'm going to align it to the center. And let's make the width equal to, uh, let's say, uh, half the page. And we can finish that tag. And then inside that table tag, we're going to create a table row tag. And after you do that, inside that, we're going to create a table data tag. And inside this table data tag is what goes inside the first cell of the first row. Let's go uh, home page, close that table data, open a new one. Let's go images, oops, and close that. Just put one more about an about page. Now we'll be making all these pages later, but for now I just want to get this navigation system set up. And then we can go slash tr to close the table row, and then finally we can close the table. You can add more rows if you want, but for now I'm just going to have one. One more thing, the black text will not show up against our background, so let's change. Alright, let's go border is equal to, I don't know, let's say... Let's go with 20. Then we make the border color equal to. Actually, that border is a bit too thick, so why don't we change that? Okay, let's change that to about 10, should be good. And then let's change the text color. For this, we're going to go font color equals. Let's go with red. And then at the end of the table, we can close that font tag. Now, the font tag changes all the text within the tag, so keep that in mind where you put the beginning and end of that tag. Actually, unfortunately, you cannot just put it above the table to make it work. You do actually need to put it in the table data because it is a separate text field. So I'm just going to copy and paste all this quick. I'm also just going to change this from home page to home just to make it a little bit shorter. And voila, now we have our table, and next episode we will add links to all these, to other pages that we will create, and we will probably also center these in the, in the boxes, but ourselves, but I will show you that ne next time. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, comment, subscription, Whatever you feel comfortable with in the area.
below. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will be happy to answer them or help you find out. Uh, thanks again for watching, and see you guys next time. Thank you.